And then, what was that there? What are you controlling that with? Uh, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a tablet. I'm using OBS WebSockets. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, the application is called OBS Blade, but uh, there's also, like, web GUI interfaces you can OBS use as well. Blade. Yeah. Oh, I know how it's it a it's an open source Android application that you can use to connect to uh, OBS Studio and control and control OBS Studio using WebSockets because you know huh. uh, global hotkeys are cool and all, but uh, they don't work on most Wayland Wayland systems. So I just decided I'm going to use WebSockets because huh. you know sometimes I forget to close OBS when you know I leave home. So because you know I connect there. I run my own VPN service here through mm -hmm. Tailscale. Uh, I can just, you know, pull up the phone, pull up OBS Blade and tell it to, hey, stop recording, please. I had been <laughs> looking for something like this for ages. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, like when WebSockets first, like, uh, became like a uh, official part of the OBS project, like, I was waiting for someone to make something like this because I, uh, like, I, I've been wanting something that could deal with the, the global hotkey issue. Yeah. And this... This is better than that. Because <laughs> this allows you to like, do stuff over your network. Yeah. That's cool. I'm going to try this out. I might do a video on this. Maybe. I'll forget. But I'm definitely going to use it. But yeah, there, there's also like a web GUI interface that, too that mm -hmm. that uh, is basically provides you with just buttons that you can that you can press on. And mm -hmm. uh, But uh, I just found like the dedicated Android application to work best, in my opinion. That huh. Lighted uh, with this tablet, I had to set it up so that the screen t stays on basically at all times. It just never shuts off even when it's running on battery. But yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's a, it's one of those cheap twenty dollars Android tablets, and it works. Yeah, for that it would be perfectly fine. Yeah. Huh. I. And I, I, you know what I love about doing this podcast? I find out things that I just never knew existed that I, You're I wish that someone had just told me before. Um, projects built with oh. the Flutter framework. Oh, that's cool. Uh. I uh I found it by literally googling OBS WebSocket controller for Android. <laughs> I think that's the problem. I I looked up OBS WebSocket controller. I didn't put the Android part in. Just didn't show up. Yeah, but uh I I I debated getting a Steam Deck mm. or a, not a Steam Deck, but a Stream Deck for for yeah, like yeah, the yeah, longest okay. time because you know uh there there's a working driver package for it nowadays, and uh, you know you can install like the Boatswain application from FlatHub and yeah, it supposedly um... just works out of the box. I, but uh, you know, you know how does how does the stream how does the stream deck work? It communicates over WebSockets, so it's like mm -hmm. there's got to be something else that we can use instead. Do you know, <laughs> I, I love I love Boatsway, and the, <laughs> I love the, the the developer who made it as well. It was made by George Tarakas, the guy that fixes everything involving OBS. Like, oh, OBS doesn't work on Wayland. Okay, portals. Here you go. I fixed it. Oh, here's this. Oh, it works now. Uh, your, your stream deck's not working? Here you go. It's fixed now. Like, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it, man. Uh, like, this guy's, this guy's awesome. I've not tested both when I don't have a stream deck myself. But I had definitely considered it. Um, yeah, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll get a cheap tablet instead. Because if that would do pretty much the same thing, maybe it makes more sense to do that. Hmm. What would you, like... So... Are there any, like, limitations, any, like, issues with your setup right now that you wouldn't be able to, like, that can't really be addressed with what you're doing? Uh, so most of my use with OBS mm. is that I, is, is time spent using the virtual camera, which, uh, you can toggle with a web, through WebSockets, but this mm. application does not have a button for it. Right. So, uh, I had to map a hotkey for it, which, uh, which will, which will actually do which will actually uh, control the uh, virtual camera. Uh -huh. But uh, you, you can start and stop streaming, and uh, this application can actually look at chat, too. So you can manage your chat through this, too. Huh. Uh, it The YouTube integration is still very much beta because, you know, YouTube chat is kind of weird. Yeah, But yeah. Uh, Twitch is just IRC, so it just connects and works. Yeah, I, I a multi-stream anyway, so as long as I can see Twitch chat, it's fine. But all I would need is changing scenes... And start and stop. That's pretty much it. No, we fine. Oh yeah. Uh, I can I can change scenes. Uh, I can. Well, actually, let me flip over to this camera. This is just a l cheap little Logitech camera, so it's not gonna be like C920? the C920. Yeah, C920 because you know is. everybody's got them. Everybody yeah, you're looking them. at one right uh, now. Yeah, but uh, you've got 
your start stream button, your uh -huh. record button. Uh, that's just the replay buffer, but I disable that. Mm. Uh, that's that's your, like your global hotkey button. So yeah, I I hit that, and then I have toggle options for all the hotkeys. Mm. And then I've got my uh, scene map maps right here. Uh, and then it talk. This shows like the things that are on the scene, so like audio levels and mm -hmm. objects in the scene. Which obviously this is just a virtual camera, so I got like next to nothing. Right, right. Uh, and then I can scroll down. Right there's the chat, and I can get the live stats from the from OBS in here too. Huh, that's really and cool. You can look at uh, previous sessions as well. You can see uh, I've done quite a bit with it, uh, and then you got your general settings. Huh, I it will definitely have to look at that. <laughs> that's even cooler than I thought it was. Okay. Yeah. the The only problem is that sometimes I forget to hit the button during a live stream. So just like people are just looking at me talking, and I'm just like, I'm talking about stuff that I'm seeing on the desktop. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I I, it, I I can't remember how many times I've been like playing a game, and I swap back to my face for whatever reason. I don't know, talking about something, and then I just keep playing for like a couple of minutes. People are like. Yep. What's the game? Game, game, game. Show me the game. Uh, oh, that's another reason why I have the OBS window, like yes. where I can look at it. Yeah, very important. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I might uh, might check this out. See, uh, see what I can get get uh, go and do with. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I um, think I think there's like iPhone ports of this application too, but like none of them have been able to actually get approved by Apple. So yeah, I, I don't give a shit about an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm gonna go buy like a ten year old iPhone. I don't have an iPhone. I run a Chinese spyware phone. It it is. That's what it fine. Is. You you can you can probably still buy them on like me. 